I will show you how to check the gravity of your homebrew. This is important because it will tell you how much alcohol is in your homebrew when it's finished fermenting. So first we're going to need some equipment. You can have one of two of these. You can either have your hydrometer or your refractometer. I have both. You can use both. You'll actually need both depending on your setup. Then you'll, of course you'll need some wort, some unfermented beer, and then something to get it in or on our device that we'll be using to check the gravity. So first of all, let's go ahead and use the refractometer and learn a little bit about this device, some important things that you need to know. I really like the refractometer to check it before fermentation because you don't really need that much of your homebrew, you just need a couple of drops. So first thing, you want to peel back this cover here and then get a little bit of your homebrew, you just need a little bit basically, and you run it down the lens. At this point you close the cover and then you tap. And right now, you are tapping until you get all blue, until all of those bubbles are out. I realize I need a little bit more, so I'll go ahead and pull the cover off again, get some more homebrew, and pour it over the lens. Again, tapping it, sliding it around until we get a good surface covered and all of the bubbles are out. And once it's all set up, you will hold it up towards the light. You need light to be coming into the refractometer to get your reading. And at this point, that's all you need. You can let the wart sit on there for a little bit. A couple minutes is typically what it takes for you to get a really accurate reading. So just put the wart on there, wait for a couple minutes, then hold it up to the light, look in through the lens, and check the gravity of your homebrew. Now to calibrate this thing, you can pop off the top here, this little rubber piece, super easy, and then you can drop it on the floor and lose it. And then there's just basically a screw, and you can screw that in. So you'll put some water on here, you'll have your screwdriver, and you will twist it and adjust it until it reads zero when there is water on the lens. So that's important for the refractometer. Another really important note about this is it does not work or it works differently after your beer is fermented. So when there's alcohol in the beverage, it works differently. So there's some online resources on how to calibrate your refractometer after the fact. So if you, uh, you know, are kind of new to it or you don't know a lot of the technical issues with it, a refractometer isn't gonna work for you after the beer is fermented to check the gravity again, in which case you'll have to use the hydrometer. Speaking of the hydrometer, Let's go ahead and give it a try and see how that works for checking your gravity. So as you can see, I have made a red line here to indicate where I need to fill this up with homebrew in order for me to drop my tube back in here without having too much of an overflow. So the first thing I wanna do is basically take what looks like a thermometer out of my hydrometer here, and then we will fill it up. Of course, I will spill a little, but I'll do my best not to spill that much. Fill it up to the red line. All right. So a couple drops were lost, but there we go. So now we can drop our hydrometer into our tube, and you will see now it is floating. What you will want to do is give it a good spin. So I am holding it with my fingers. Let me go ahead and show you that. I will hold it with my fingers here and give it a good, oh, and hold the base of the hydrometer and give it a good spin. This will help the tube get off the sides of the wall to help give you an accurate reading. And at this point, I can see on the side, reading the numbers, what the gravity of this beer is. Then after fermentation, we will come back and check the gravity again on the fermented beverage and take those two numbers to calculate what our ABV is. So that is how you check the gravity of your wort. Now what you'll do is you'll take a note of that number and remember it for later, because once your beer is fermented, you'll need to take that gravity reading again. Basically, you'll take those two numbers, put them into a calculator, and what that will be able to tell you is the difference in sugar. So basically you started before fermentation with this much sugar. At the end of fermentation you ended up with this much sugar. Well it's probably going to be down here. This much sugar. And then that difference was turned into alcohol and there's online calculators that will do that math for you to determine 
how much of that sugar was converted into alcohol, at which point you will have your ABV for your homebrew. So there you go. That is how to check your gravity and calculate your ABV with homebrew. Again, my name is Drew. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more DIY homebrew lifestyle tips and videos.